The universe is everything. From the tiniest particles, to the largest galaxies, to the very existence of space, time, and life. How did the universe start? What is keeping us attached to this planet and why is it so hard to leave? And where do we all come from? All of this on today's most amazing top 10 list. At number 10 we have how the universe started. I mean we have our theories as to how it all came to be. Dr. Manhattan was created in another timeline and then he created our timeline because he was so bored and wanted to watch an entire universe develop. Either that or the Big Bang. The idea that everything in existence came out of one singular moment. That there was nothing and then Boom! Everything shot out of one point and existence spread across the universe. Now this is the most favorable idea of how it all started, but no one was there to see it so the best we got are theories. And even if this theory is true, what was there before this all kicked off? Was it a massive void of nothingness? If this is true, what caused the Big Bang? Was there a universe before this one that maybe collapsed onto itself and got so condensed it had to explode outwards and spread across everything? If so, which universe? are we and why does it keep doing this? This whole thing makes my head hurt a little bit and feel like life is pointless. And guys make sure you hit that like button because it really helps us out. Coming in at number 9 we have the Bone Lake. There have been mass graves found all over the world and usually they bring up some sort of questions as to why all these people died in the same place. And with the Bone Lake, also known as Skeleton Lake, the tale is no different. To find this place you need to head 16,000 feet above sea level. It's located in the Himalayas. The lake is fresh water and fills up with the melting snow that comes down from the mountain. But when winter rolls around and the water levels drop, it's revealed that there are at least 300 skeletons laid out in this water. Now this has scientists baffled. Why are there so many corpses in one spot? Some people think this could have been a mass sacrifice. A horde of people were taken up there and some of them were sacrificed for some sort of religion. Or maybe this was a place a local tribe would take infected people as a plague passed through. There's also the chance that these 300 people were some sort of nomadic tribe that was traveling through the area and stopped to rest but then got caught in a snowstorm. Whatever it was, we have no idea to this day. And coming in number 8 we have how the universe will end. So if the Big Bang is real and everything came from one singular point and the universe is always expanding, there's a chance that this could all end eventually. There's nothing that we know in the universe to be infinite except for maybe the universe, but the only reason we could think that the universe could be infinite is because we don't have the technology to see to the end of it. Now let's say the universe does have an end and at one point it's all going to come crashing in. How will this happen? There are some theories floating around. One of them is the universe will literally be ripped apart from the inside out. If you don't know, dark matter makes up about 85% of the matter in the universe, or so it's thought. Now this matter basically fills up the void. We can't see it, but we're pretty sure it's there. And when I say we, I mean people much smarter than me. Well there is a theory that there will be so much of this stuff floating around eventually that will push everything away and the universe will begin to get ripped apart. The other idea is the big crunch. That the universe will fall onto itself. Basically, the universe is constantly expanding. So, what if that stops and everything starts to move the other way and the whole universe compresses onto itself until it's all pressed down like a piece of luggage with too much stuff in it and then it could maybe explode out again like the Big Bang? Coming in at number seven, we have what is gravity? See, we actually know a lot about gravity. We know how it works. We know that it keeps things stuck on the planet. We know that gravity from the moon affects the time and we know that black holes have such strong gravitational pull that light and time bends inside of them. And if you were to get sucked into one, the gravity would be so strong that your atoms would get ripped apart. If we're making a list of ways that I do not want to die, this is high on that list. Now even though we know all these things about gravity, we have no idea why these things happen. We don't know what is causing things to stick to the planet or why there is no gravity in space. I mean we do have some theories. It seems that gravity has some relationship to mass. The heavier something is, the more it's gravitational pull. But the question still turns to be, why is this happening? Coming in at number 6 we have Amazonian geoglyphs. If you're unfamiliar with the term geoglyph, these things are basically massive markings in the ground that sometimes look like symbols, they sometimes look like maps, or sometimes they just look like art. Different geoglyphs have popped up all over the world and the Amazonian ones are some of the most impressive. There are hundreds of them that span through Brazil and Bolivia. Some of them 
them are simple circles and the others look like more complex drawings. Now the question is, why are these things here? There are a few theories. Some people think these could have been meeting places laid down in the dirt. They could have been ceremonial or they could have just all been art. But even if scientists found out why they made these areas, the question then becomes how? There haven't been many tools that would show how they were able to create these kind of markings. Personally, I think it was for sure all aliens. I mean, I don't actually think that, but it's always fun to cough up aliens for anything we don't understand. Like, where does my poop go after I flush it? That's for sure aliens. Who votes on who wins the Oscars? That's aliens. All right, guys, coming in at number five, we have cows are the way. Here's something very strange that scientists have been able to document and have no idea why it happens. So there is some satellite imagery of cows all over Europe and America, and it would seem that many of them are lined up with the North and South Pole. For some reason, these creatures always line their bodies up with the magnetic poles of this planet, and we have no idea why. And this isn't just a small group of cows in each area. It was over 70% of the cows that were monitored that were doing this. For some reason, cows have an internal compass that is much stronger than ours. This must be similar to how salmon are always able to work their way back to the same mating place every year. Like how do they know how to do this? Well, they just do. This could be some sort of navigation things cows have gained from being transported in herds, or maybe all bovines have this ability, but it just hasn't been monitored yet. Or maybe cows are just like salmon and they have a secret cow mating land that we don't know about where cows migrate to every year and fall in love and make more cows. Coming at number four, we have time travel. Can we speed this one up already? Let's get this time travel going. I want to shake things up in the timeline a little bit. Like what if I went back in time and made people in the 1800s listen to EDM? Do you think they would like it? Do you think it would be pretty wild? Or would they just burn me at the stake for being a witch? I don't know, it could be either or. But even though movies have told us forever that this is something we should be doing, science still says it's a no-go. Even Stephen Hawking has said that it's impossible. But we'll see. We'll see when I'm riding a dinosaur and I'm king of the cave people. Coming in at number three, we have what are ghosts? Now, we make a lot of spooky content on this channel, so it should be no surprise that some of our viewers are believers in ghosts. And even though scientists aren't hard at work trying to prove or disprove ghosts, there have been some pretty strange things caught on camera and thousands of stories of people saying they've encountered some sort of spiritual being. Even though you can't always trust what people say, I find some of the footage of ghostly things happening compelling. I don't believe in ghosts, but I acknowledge that there have been some weird things caught on camera that we have no explanation for. Is it ghosts? I don't know. Is it something else? I have no idea. Am I going to do the research to find out what it is? Absolutely not. Coming in at number two, we have the Fermi Paradox. There has to be life somewhere in the universe, right? There has to be a planet somewhere that has their version of friends where the whole cast of spiders. Now, the Fermi paradox is that while it seems logical that there should be some life somewhere in the universe, why have we not been able to make contact with any known aliens yet? Now, there's a lot of theories as to why this could be happening, and let's go through them. The one that most of you are probably thinking right now is that we have made contact with aliens, but they're being kept secret from us. That only a few people in history have been the chosen ones that get to talk to the aliens. There's the theory that the universe is so large that even though some race of aliens out there is much more advanced than us, they're still too far away to make contact with us. There's also the thought that intelligent life might come and go faster than who's the latest most popular pop star, and the fact that we've been able to make it this far is actually an anomaly in the universe. So any of these could be true, or it could be the sad truth that we're all alone in the universe. And that's just no fun. Coming to the number one spot, we have how life started. Yeah, we don't know how this happened. There are a ton of theories about this, but even those are mostly about how life on Earth started. There's the idea of the primordial soup, which I'm sure you've heard of. There was a bunch of different molecules mixing together until the right combination hit just right, and you got the first living thing ever. There's the idea that even though we are mostly built from DNA, that the first few life forms constructed were mostly RNA. There's also the idea that a meteor with some life on it came from deep space and might have crashed into our planet and brought with the means to create life on this planet. But even with some of the brightest eggheads in the world trying to crack the code on this one, we still have no idea how this happened. How we went from being loose molecules to having food shipped right to our door and left there so you can crawl out of your hovel and choke it down like some sort of basement goblin. All right, guys, that's all we have for you for today's list. Thank you so much for tuning in. As always, I've been your host, Jade Arena, and I'll catch you on the next one. But when winter rolls around and the water level drops, it's revealed that there are
But when winter rolls around and the water levels drop, it's bleh. But when winter rolls around and the water levels dropped, it's revealed that. Coming in at number one, guys, we have how life started. Yeah, we don't know how this happened. There are a ton of theories, but this, there are, t there are a, coming in at number one, we have how life started. Yeah, there, ugh. Even though we are mostly built from DNA, that the first few life forms, that the first few life, life forms, that the first few life forms, ugh. how we went from possibly being loose molecules to being, ugh. How we went from possibly being, how we went from possibly be, how we went, how we went from possibly being, ugh. how we went from possibly being, ugh. 